Hello, fellow Rosarians. Thanks for joining me. It has been a long time, I think, since we've done an unboxing for Rogue Valley. This was one of the earliest unboxings that I did when I first started my channel last year. And at that point, I wasn't even sure what a banned rose was. If somebody had said it's a teeny tiny pot, I know what that is, uh, but I just didn't have an idea. So, you know, when I did that video, I said, let's go ahead and learn together. And since then, I think that we've learned a lot that uh, band roses through Rogue Valley are a little bit smaller, but in the same pot size as what we buy from a Reverence for Roses, uh, the same as High Country and Northland. Uh, and I'll have to think if there's anybody else, and I'll put it up on the board that has uh, this band size pot. So with that pot, it's going to be uh, four inches by four inches. So uh, for the pot on the smaller size, they're going to be a root, which is great because if you ever have dieback, it has the opportunity to come back um, from and regenerate its roots. So that's an awesome thing about own root. And when I'm buying the band size, it's typically because it's a very unique variety that I can't find elsewhere. And um, your, the roses that I buy primarily from Rogue Valley are Paul Barden roses. And I think that his roses are just beautiful. And the color is unique. And it has that fuller petal shape. And they're hard to find. You can find them, um, a lot of his collection at Rogue Valley. Um, and you can find some at Hummingbird. I've seen that she has a few. I'm not sure if High Country has one or two. And A Reverence for Roses, I know they have um, at least one licorice tea. Um, so anyways, if you haven't checked out his roses, please consider doing so. I think they're amazing. Um, so when you order from Rogue Valley, they have great customer service. Somebody's always going to answer the phone. And they've added a new person who is really fun to work with and her name is Gracie and well, I talked to her on the phone because I one of my frustrations in the past is that if I place an order and then I'm lingering too long on the site and then I find something else that I want and I place an order and then I linger again and I find something else <laughs> before you know it I've got like three orders out there and the shipping on each is 30 bucks and so I reached out and I was fortunate this time that I caught it before they shipped and she was able to consolidate the order so that was a really nice uh, customer service that they offered for me uh, to save a little bit of money um, they also offer this free mystery rose and if you put four in the cart um, I think up on the bottom it'll pop up as you're in your check out with do you want this rose this rose or this rose or do you want a mystery one and we'll we'll send it to you and they're roses where they have lost the tag and so they don't know what it is and so that's fun to do that in my case because I was consolidating orders I didn't get a mystery rose and that's okay I'll find another reason to order and get my mystery rose <laughs> the warranty on the roses looking at their website it's two weeks uh, that they want you to contact them in the event that you have a problem but what I will say about that is that when my rose bloomed last year I think it was Marianne it didn't look like Marianne and I sent a picture over to them and clearly it had been longer than two weeks and said, you know, I'm wondering if a mistake was made. And they said, no problem. They refunded my money. And so that was taken care of. So just be watching your rose uh, for those first two weeks to make sure that it looks healthy. I would pot this up. I think on their directions it says to go ahead and put it directly in the ground any time of the year as long as it's not frozen. Uh, but for these smaller babies, I do like to watch them for a little bit or have them close to the house so I can keep good track on them so I would consider potting this one up uh, where you would put it in a gallon size make sure it acclimates to the gallon size and then continue potting it up until you're comfortable putting it in the ground so let's before we get into the pricing and sharing the fun babies that I got let's go ahead and open this up you can see that it comes in a nice long box Okay, so here we are, and it looks like I've got four babies down here, and they're taped to the bottom really nice and sturdy. So the first thing that I'm going to do is cut them out of the box so we can look at them. They do a really nice job packaging these roses. 
okay, so I'll hold it up here so you can kind of see um, with the uh, open area back there. This rose right here has um, one large cane, really good size, size of a pencil, and then I have a much smaller one here. So this is acceptable, and it, this is what a band pot looks like. Um, this one here has just one cane, a very long cane. Gosh, this is... Um, almost 20 inches or so here on this cane also very close to the size of a pencil this one is smaller but i think it's a miniature we'll look at that in a second um, but this one looks really great and it's got three canes in here and now this one is i believe another miniature and i've got really nice fresh red growth here on this one this one looks very happy. So let's go ahead and get into the descriptions of these. So Little Butch is a new one that they just added to their site. And this is the one that has uh, the red on it. And it is a miniature uh, polyantha, orange red or russet violet shading, moderate apple carnation fragrance, 25 to 45 petals. The average diameter of the bloom is going to be two inches. Uh, small clusters, semi-globular, moderate blooms and flushes throughout the season. This one is going to be three foot to five foot. So even though it's a miniature, it is tall. So this isn't, you know, a teeny tiny miniature that you're going to put in the front of the bed. This still needs to go towards the back of the bed and its width is two to three feet. But look at that color. Isn't that just a really pretty, unusual color? So that's Little Butch. And then the next miniature that I got, this one I think I'm going to put in the front of a bed, uh, kind of like you would have uh, your companion plantings. This one is Carolyn Suppinger. It's a miniature and it's a blend of magenta purple with darker grape purple overlay, some white at the base of the petals, and a strong damask old rose raspberry fragrance. I can't wait. The average diameter is 1.25 inches, so it's a little bit smaller, but the petal is going to be very uh, full and let's see prolific continuous bloom throughout the season the height is one to almost two feet with that width being eight inches to 15 inches so it's on the smaller side but I think it's going to look great in the front of the bed the next one that we're going to look at is Etienne and I've been waiting for this one to hit the site for a while and I would refresh every day or so just to look at it and I was so excited to see it come up. Typically you're going to see the Paul Bardens hit the site you know, every four months so it's a waiting game but make sure you sign up and they will send you those alerts. So for Etienne it's going to be three inch blooms. Etienne grows a little bit taller than Rook possibly reaching five to six feet if it's rich soil. It blooms mainly cut but they can open flatter and this rose has a good scent but it's not sweet like a damask the fragrance is instead a unique gallica herbal aroma so that'll be fun too to give that a test and see what an herbal aroma is okay the last one is umbra here umbra is another one that i've been waiting to hit the site and it's a mauve or a mauve blend a purpley bloom, deep smoky violet with strong purple magenta inner petals. It fades to one of the bluest roses I have seen, especially when grown in the shade. It's a strong centrifolia fragrance. The average diameter is four inches on umbra, so that's going to be a larger bloom. This is a once blooming spring or summer, so we'll see how that goes. But, you know, I am adding a lot of one-time bloomers to my garden in the coming season because I hear that even though it's a one-time bloomer, it's going to be weeks and weeks that it's blooming. I can deal with that. Um, so it's going to be four foot to seven foot in height. So this is going to be going in the back of a bed and its width could be three to six feet. So it's a good size rose. So now let's go ahead real quick and get into the pricing, what to expect. They took a, I think it was about a $3 price increase. So they're going to be $28 or so per rose, at least the ones that I was looking at. 
Um, we are going to do a rack and stock based on five roses this year. Last year we did 10, so now we're going to look at what does it cost for five roses. And we do that so that we can take into account all the discounts that are available. Um, and usually they come in quantities of you know over 100 or $125 or more than three roses. So we're just saying five so that we can rack and stock and compare all of the vendors taking into account all the discounts that are available. So five roses would be $145. The shipping to me would be 40. So the total is $185. So we'll put a pin in that and we'll start looking at it as we're getting more potted roses in. The last unboxing I did was for a bare root. So we'll kind of keep those separate as we go forward. The other big thing to note is with all of the um, hubbub last year with some of the vendors having um, data breaches, a lot of people want to use PayPal. So I'll be statusing that with each one of our vendors and fortunately Rogue Valley does offer PayPal as an option to buy. So if you're interested in seeing how these look in a couple of months, I will be statusing them from, through the summer so that you can see what to expect after three months, after six months. Uh, but from the experience that I had last year, at the end of the season, with each variety there will be differences, but for me these end up being about the same size as a one gallon rose at the end of the season but I'm sure as soon as they hit their third year they'll take off. So I hope this video is helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.